Hi, this is Jörg from Qubit. I'm gonna show you how to create a family door component in Revit using scan data from Qubit's virtual server software. You see here my Revit and my virtual server window side by side and I started modeling some walls in Revit using the Revit link of virtual server. So this is my scan project in Virtusurf. To get a better overview uh, um, over all the scans I can export the scan positions to a text file and open this text file in the Virtusurf ribbon import positions desktop then all the positions will be loaded to Revit as a generic family symbol. Uh, if you have a look to the properties, you find a scan name, the coordinates of the scanner position, as well as hyperlinks to the VirtuSurf project and the VirtuSurf scan file. Okay, so the door is here in the wall so we will see it in scan number five i open the scan in virtual and here is our door okay so we start in revit choosing a new work plane um i pick the plane uh, on this wall face here. Let us show this plane. And then starting in VirtuSurf, creating a 3D model line with the point mode perpendicular so that the line is exactly on our active work plane. Then I can start clicking points in the scan along this curve here Revit, I can see the 3D lines of my door frame, and I will create a second line from the inner edge of this frame. Okay, so. Um, now I will uh, maximize my uh, Revit window. So next steps are all in Revit. I select all the lines and also the wall and use the temporary view to isolate these elements. And then I go to the view cube and choose view orient to a plane and specify the active work plane on my wall to get a view of this wall. Okay, so now I can start modeling um, my door. First I will hide all these protocol points. I don't need it at the moment. And I start architecture door and choose model in place. So, okay, uh, let me switch to wireframe to have better view. And now I'm in this uh, family mode to create a model in place family. And for this moment I only need some model lines. 
and with the pick line tool I can pick all the lines of my wolf comes from VirtualSurf so with the tap key you can choose the complete line here and I will modify a bit trim it to the bottom edge of the wall and we also trim the line here and here so I turn off or I switch to thin line mode to see the lines a little bit, bit better um, I delete these two lines I don't need it for my door and maybe I will create a curve here so I delete these lines and start a new model line a three point curve from start to end and to specify the radius this okay so now I have uh, in place family with some model lines and uh, I will select all the lines and create a group so this is group lines okay and now I can save this group to my library as a group file. Um, I will save this on my desktop. Same as group name. Okay. And now this group is saved as a Revit family file. So uh, for the moment I cancel my in place model. Yes, quit. So I'm back in my project uh, environment and now I start a new family okay so um, I choose a template a door template metric door here okay now I can insert and I choose my group lines um, switch to the interior elevation view and I found the loaded group under group models here and can place the group exactly in the middle of my family template okay um, we cannot see it course of the hidden line view I go to wireframe and here are my door lines so now I'll, now I will start to adjust uh, all the parts of my door to the lines and first I have to unlock the parameters for height and also for width back to the interior view so that I can adjust the reference planes to the edge of my door. Um, for this I use the align tool and with the tap key I can switch to the point here and align this reference plane to the point and also this reference plane so then you can see here the height is adjusted to the exact height of my lines okay next step is to modify the frame that is in the template to the lines of comes from my virtual surf um, for this I select the extrusion here and 
go to an edit extrusion and you now we are under sketch mode and we can delete these lines we can't read it and with the pick line tool again we can pick the edges from my lines and we have to trim a bit the lines at the bottom okay so finish the edit mode and here's the second extrusion of the other frame from the other uh, door side and uh, we will do the same for this extrusion pick lines and trim the edges okay so I go to the 3d view um, and yeah this is our door so now I can select the group I don't need this anymore and I save this family to let's say my door okay and load it to my project and I can place it in the mall and yes it looks really good okay um, I delete it and turn off the temporary view yes save project and now I can start placing this new family to the exact position um, in my model for this <coughs> I use VirtuSurf again I go to the VirtuSurf ribbon and to families and here I can choose the families that I used by VirtuSurf and for door family I will find my door here and back to VirtuSurf I can start the door command and with two clicks in the edges I can place the door at the exact position and I will do one more find the right scan scan number three here and we'll create another door okay and that's it we created a new family using scan data from Virtusurf thank you for your attention